On the website, famousquoteland.com, it states that Joshua Bell says that when you play a violin piece, you are a storyteller and you are telling a story. The violin is not just for classical music, it's also for contemporary. For example, Dan Davis plays numbers of Michael Jackson hits, such as Smooth Criminal, on his violin. Also, Melody DeVivo from Casting Crowns, a contemporary Christian band, plays her violin. I have played the violin for two years now, and I started in the sixth grade. In my sixth grade year, I got chosen to be an honors orchestra. In seventh grade, the orchestra that I was part of went to an orchestra competition. We played three pieces of music to the judges, and later on we found out that all the judges scored us on all three pieces once. Ones are the best scoring you can possibly get. The the whole idea of my speech is to taste, is to teach the basics of how to play the violin. The three steps that I will be discussing is the different parts of the violin, finger placement on the strings and bow, and how to play the violin. Now let's discuss the different parts of the violin. According to theaterseatstore.com, it says that at the top of the instrument is a scroll. Following the scroll is a peg box and pegs, which are used to tune the strings. Next is the nut, fingerboard, neck, and strings. The strings used to be made out of dried cat intestines. I know, gross, right? Following that is the board and F holes. F holes are also known as sound holes, which help produce the sound. On the inside is a sound post and bridge. Following that is the tail, fine tuner, and chin rest. In addition, you can add a shoulder rest for your own comfort while you are playing. According to NRA.com, it states that on the left F hole, you can tell who made your violin. Now that we've discussed the different parts of the violin, let's discuss how to finger placement on the fingerboard and also on the bow. Next step is to understand where to place your fingers on the, fin on the fingerboard and also how to hold your bow. In the beginning, it is better to use three different color tape to understand where to put your fingers. Also, when you are playing, you want to have an arch with your wrist. You don't want your wrist to be flat. That's also known as pancake wrist and it will cause health problems later on. These three tapes help you understand where to put your three fingers. Also. The strings go in order like this, G, D, A, and E. It is easy for a violinist to remember their notes because they only have to worry about one club, which is known as treble club. Now that we've discussed the how where to put your fingers, now let's get to know your bow. The bow is made up of different parts. At the top, you have the tip, the bow stick, the grip, the bow hairs, which are about 150 strands of coarse hair. Also, the screw, which tightens the bow hairs. You want to hold your bow like this. My orchestra teacher used to tell me that your, three, your middle and ring finger are like legs off a dock, just not touching the water. Also, when you have the correct bow hand, you're, you will see an oval or circle. The original bow was shaped as a hunter's bow until the 19th century. Now that we've discussed the different parts of the violin, finger placement on the strings and bow, now let's discuss how to play violin. The last thing I'll be teaching you about is how you're supposed to have your posture and also how to have your bow on the strings to create a smooth, clean sound. When it comes to posture, you want your arms, wrists, hands, and fingers relaxed. You also have your back straight. You don't want to be slouched over because then that will hurt your back eventually and it will mess up how you have your hands positioned. When you lift up your violin, you want the back of it to rest smooth, calm, like you want it to be comfortable on your shoulder. Also, you want your jawline on the chin rest and the end of your chin, you want it at the end of the chin rest where it meets the tail. Also, before you start playing with your bow, you want your bow to have rosin on it so it's not sliding all over the strings. And before you even start playing with it, you want to tighten the bow strings so it makes a sound. 
otherwise there won't be any sound. When it's time to play with your bow, you want to place your bow in between the fingerboard and the bridge, like so. Also, you don't want to lean more on one side because then you'll be playing two strings at once. From takelessons.com, it states that they suggest you to ditch your shoes while practicing your violin. This way improves your violin playing and also your posture. Now I'm going to play you a piece of In the Sunset. In conclusion, you have learned the beginnings of how to play the violin. The overarching idea was to give a few basics of how to play the instrument. The three steps that I discussed in my speech are the different parts of the violin, the finger placement, and on, on the strings in the bow, and on and how to put all that together in order to play the instrument. I leave you with this quote from goodreads.com. The author is unknown, but the quote goes as so. Music speaks what cannot be expressed, soothes the mind and gives it rest, heals the heart and makes it whole, flows from heaven to the soul. Thank you.